Hey folks, I know it's been a bit since my last video. Uh, that's because I am working on a bunch of uh, different things right now, but uh, so far I'm just not having as much luck with those locks as I would like to. So, in the meantime, to tide you over, uh, I'm going to show you this Safe Skies lock. I know I've shown you a bunch of those, but this one is a bit different from the others because it includes a uh, indicator to show whether or not the override key has been used. You can see that little window there with the green padlock symbol. And when the override key is used to open the lock, that uh, little indicator clicks over to that red one, and then when it gets locked back up, it stays like that until you insert your key which is flat on one side. Now this is an actual example of a mastered wafer lock. Uh, the blade of the user key goes in on the left, the blade of the TSA master key goes in on the right, uh, so they're basically just reverse profiles. So when we put it in, and notice this little uh, stud or uh, spike on the edge of the key, that's pretty important to this because what happens is that fits into that little notch and it runs through a little channel on the side until it hits a little lever to reset that indicator and with that key inserted you can open it but the uh, lock indicator returns to green every time you close it back up but there's a little uh, vulnerability to this because basically, I'm going to take my uh, TSA master key, insert it in there, and I'm going to unlock it. So now it's unlocked. Now I'm going to return the shackle to the lock position. Uh, but, while the shackle is still unlocked, come on, cooperate, man, I can remove the master key, and I can reach into that little channel where the lever is, with any sort of small tool. This is a, a hook pick that I'd made out of a bobby pin. It tends to work for this. Just reach in there, feel around until I get that little click, and the indicator is now cleared. And now I can reinsert my master key and lock it back up. But According to this lock, the override was never used. So, just keep that in mind if you have one of these uh, locks. And now, there are variations on this same theme. Uh, a lot of the Travel Century manufacturers offer locks with a similar feature. Sometimes they'll call it Search Alert or uh, various other things. They've all got their own names for it. Uh, and they come in slightly different versions, but basically all of them uh, use some sort of little catch or something that is uh, triggered when the master key is used that the user key is able to somehow reset. Uh, and there are a few different ways that they accomplish it, but this particular mechanism uh, doesn't really provide you protection from that, uh, from that unauthorized use of an override key. So, just keep that in mind when you're traveling. Uh, until then, Happy New Year! and uh, stay safe and happy picking.